Hey there, Leo. This is Renee, and welcome back. Leo, this is going to be your reading for March 2023. This is for March 1st through the 15th. So, if you have Leo anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's get some energy for Leo or around Leo, okay? Um, let's get the energy for you. Okay, we have joy and contentment. And we have listen deeply. Okay, there's someone who wants to communicate something to you. I feel like it's energy that you want to listen to. It could be someone who needs your forgiveness or your understanding. Okay, but someone has some kind of communication that they really need you to hear at the moment. They need you to really focus on what they're saying, on what kind of message they have. But I feel like your overall energy is very joyful, very happy. Um, but I feel like this person who's surrounding you may need your understanding. Okay, there's someone who's in need. I have fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. It may be someone who is kind of worrying about someone, something. Um, look at this. We have happiness on the bottom. So I'm aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So I don't necessarily feel like this fear is in your energy because I feel like whatever this energy is, I feel like it's kind of surrounding you. It's not within your energy. So I feel like whatever this person is coming towards you that needs you to really hear what they're saying, I feel like they're very fearful fearful for something that maybe they feel like you won't forgive them for a certain situation or they feel like you just won't understand the reason why they have done this okay but I feel like this person who is close to you is very fearful of how you're going to react okay uh, let's get some tarot for Leo let's see what other messages come out for Leo Sun, Moon, and Rising, March 1st through the 15th. Okay, we have the Chariot. So I feel like you're you're moving. You're moving into this more prosperous energy with this King of Pentacles. Look at this. We have the Three of Swords in Reverse. So um, I feel like you're moving away from some kind of financial loss, uh, financial instability. Um, maybe that has to do with someone who, who has to speak to you because maybe it has to do with some kind of money issue. Uh, but I feel like, I feel like you're moving away from some kind of financial loss, some final financial instability, and you're moving into more gain, more prosperous time because we have the magician at the bottom. So I feel like something is being created for you. Leo, or there's something that you're creating. You're creating some kind of abundance, some kind of stable situation. I feel like it's something that maybe you've been waiting for. Maybe you've been waiting for a good chunk of money to come in for you, or, or you're waiting for information on a new job, a new career. Something that's going to bring you more abundance and less financial worry. Okay, But I, I feel like this is very close because the chariot in the first spot, I feel like you're moving towards this energy. Um, let's see. Okay, the cards that wanted to fall out are the Four of Wands. The Five of Wands and the Justice card. So it's definitely something that you've been waiting for. Something that you feel like you deserve. Uh, something that you're being rewarded. And I feel like it's...
it's like cause for celebration because you've been building up to this this level you've been learning this ability maybe it has to do with some kind of legal work are you a lawyer or some kind of person in the legal field maybe a judge lawyer paralegal some kind of legal secretary hmm okay and we have the full so you're starting on this new journey I feel like this is a total fresh start for you you're moving away from the worry. You're moving away from some kind of financial instability. And you're moving into more happiness, celebration, learning new things. Okay? Because I feel like you're definitely being rewarded for some kind of process that you've been going through. Some kind of process that may have been taking quite a while for you to gain the knowledge of. You know? But I, I feel like with this... With this Four of Wands, Five of Wands, and Justice card, and the Fool, this is a new adventure. You're going on some kind of new adventure in this situation. You're actually playing to win, okay? Um, but you're, this is actually causing you to have some kind of fresh start in your situation. You're going on a new journey. This is a new beginning for you. Okay, Leo. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this situation. Give me more information about this, please. <clears throat> the Nine of Wands. You've def definitely been waiting for this. Definitely. The Nine of Wands, the Two of Wands. And the lovers. Wow. Okay. The bottom we have the Ace of Pentacles. So, whatever this is that you're waiting for, this also might lead to a love you've been longing for. Um, with this Nine of Wands, Two of Wands, and the Lovers card. I feel like you've been holding out for some kind of situation, but you've been patiently waiting. And I feel like love is right here. Love is right there for you. And I, I feel like you're finally able to notice it and grasp it, you know. With this Ace of Pentacles, I feel like this is something very valuable that you are kind of coming into. Your, th this is like a gift. This is your reward. This may be some kind of new job, new promotion, new income. Uh, this new love interest may bring another income into your life. Maybe that's the reason why you're not worrying about your stability any longer. Because you have this new love coming in with this second income. So you're, you're feeling like this is a fresh start for your situation. Hmm. I feel like... I'm hearing that this person may be moving in. You may be sharing the expenses. Now we have the strength card. The hangman. And the king of cups. Very interesting. Yeah, I feel like you're very strong. You're very strong, Leo. You're showing up in a very strong position. You're able to view things in a totally different light. Whatever this love, love offer is, I feel like it's a King of Cups kind of love offer. It's very nurturing, supportive. 
very tender and caring. Okay? Someone who wants to provide, who wants to protect you. Very interesting. Leo. We have the Knight of Cups at the bottom. This may be a knight in shining armor. This is definitely a love offer coming in. Maybe that's the reason why there's more stability, more financial gain here. Because now you can rely on two incomes and not just one. Uh, let's clarify this message. Give me more of this message, Spirit. Give me more of this message. Okay, the Ace of Swords. Yeah, a breakthrough. The King of Pentacles. Stability. And the Nine of Cups. At the bottom we have the Ace of Wands. Definitely a new beginning. A new beginning of thinking, of being driven, new ideas, new creative actions, just new energy. It's, it's a totally different vibe, like upbeat and positive. And I feel like it's all because of this King of Pentacles. This feeling of stability, of nurturing, of, you know, being able to protect and take care of you the way that you want to be taken care of. This is something that is being fulfilled for you. This is like wishes coming true. Total contentment. Happiness. Abundance. Okay? That's how I'm feeling with this Nine of Cups energy. It's, it's material abundance. Very interesting. Leo. Let's get some angel cards. Let's see what the angels have to say for you, Leo, at this moment. Message for Leo, please. Someone in rising, March 1st through the 15th. Okay, we have light activations. Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. So I feel like Spirit is letting you know to focus and listen to your intuition. Listen to the, the message that the universe is delivering to you. Okay? We have transcendence. Rise up and honor your inner force. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe. Definitely, that's what I just said. You know, the universe is letting you know that it's working in your favor. It's um, bringing forward something that maybe you have been wanting for a long time. Maybe something that you desired for a long time. Okay? Um, we have divine healing. Honor your sensitivity. Retreat to recharge and heal. Your light can support others. So I feel like this is not only a healing for yourself. This is also a healing for someone else. Maybe someone else very close to you. Okay. Because you have the ability to help others. As well as helping yourself. Because I feel like this, this stability that you're gaining. Is not just for yourself Leo. But it's for your loved ones around you. Uh, we see that with the Four of Wands energy. I feel like you're sharing your wealth. You are like celebrating what this is coming in for you. Okay. We have see the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. And we also have full moon in Gemini. Embrace the flow of life. So I feel like you're, you're now able to like go with the flow of things. You don't have to worry so much. You don't have to um, fear what's coming next. Very interesting energy. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's get one more card. Tell me about this energy for... Leo, what does Leo need to know right now? March 1st through the 15th. 
completion. Yeah, this is complete. Your cycle is changing. You're moving into this new cycle, into this new beginning. Uh, the completion, you know, after every completion, there's a new beginning. So I feel like with the full card and these um, other cards below it, I believe we had... Yeah. Yeah, there's a completion here. We have the, the Nine of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Justice, the Lovers, the Fool. So you, you've completed some kind of cycle, some kind of activity the universe wanted you to complete and now you're moving into this new fresh start this new perfect timing this new set of discovery you know um very good Let's see you preserve perseverance the Nine of Wands energy, perseverance, standing strong. Even though you've been through struggles, you still have the need to push on and move towards what this is that you desire. And I feel like because of that perseverance, this windfall, this abundance, this material gain is coming forward for you. Okay, so that is what I have for you, Leo. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so, so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And Leo, until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.